To set up a virtual machine in Azure, you navigate to portal.azure.com. Click the hamburger menu up here to the left, then click Virtual Machines. Now click Create, choose Azure Virtual Machine. You will need a subscription to create a virtual machine. We'll create a new resource group. So click Create New here. I'll choose the name My VM Group. You're free to choose whatever you prefer. Then click OK. Then we'll give our machine a name. Again, choose the name you want. I chose Demo VM. The region. Here you will choose the data center nearest to you. Since I live in Northern Europe, that's what I go with. Then we'll need an image. Here we can click this drop down and see some predefined one or click all images. We can choose a Windows Server, a Windows 10 or a Windows 11, which is the one we will go with in this tutorial. Here I click select. I will go with Windows 11 Pro version 22H2X64 generation 2, but feel free to choose otherwise. So I click here and that one is chosen. Scroll a little bit down. Then we will need to choose a size. Here I'll click see all sizes. And here I can recommend to choose from the most used by Azure users if you're unsure what you want to choose. It could look like this. Just pick this one here. I'll pick one with 16 gigabyte RAM and I'll take this D4S3. The D series are great for a purpose. So I click here and then I'll click select. Then we'll need a username and a password for the virtual machine. I'll choose the username called Anna Jensen Org and I'll paste in my password here. Roll a little bit down. We also need to choose the public inbound ports. So drop down here. The RDP on port 3389 enables remote connection. And we will also enable the HTTP 80. That is the default network port used to send and receive unencrypted web pages. Now we can scroll down. Confirm that you have a Windows license. Click Review and Create. Here you will see the price for the machine on disk that we chose. It is 1.49 Danish kronos per hour. And that is when the virtual machine is active. That means that once we start the machine in a little while, this will be deducted from your credit. Now click Create and your virtual machine will start deploying. This will take probably around one minute, so I'll fast forward the video. Is this video helping you? Then you can help me by giving it a thumbs up. That's it. Click go to resource. Go up here and click this connect drop down. Choose RDP. Download RDP file. Over here, I'll say keep. Then I will open up my downloads folder. I have it here. I'll cut it out to my desktop or somewhere else where I can keep it. To connect to my virtual machine, I just double click this demo VM RDP that I just downloaded. Choose don't ask me again for a connection to this computer and I'll click connect. Here I'll need to fill in my username and password and you need to have a local host backwards slash in front of your username. This was the username that we created before. Password, you also chose that during the setup. So I'll paste that in. I'll click OK. Again, I'll say don't ask me again for connections to this computer and I'll click yes. Now your virtual machine is being prepared. 
choose your preferred settings. I'll just untick all of this, but feel free to customize it as you want. And I'll click accept. You now have your own virtual Windows 11 machine. YouTube thinks you should watch this next.